In this video, we're going to take a closer look at how to use the survey queue in REDCap. The survey queue is a way of moving your participants through the surveys in your project, where you can specify the order that the surveys become available to them, and specify which surveys they will take based on specific answers they give in the project. To use the survey queue, you want to first make sure that surveys are enabled in the project, and that in the online designer, all the forms that you want to use as surveys have been enabled as surveys. Once you have done that, you will set up the survey queue by clicking on the survey queue button. The first thing you will want to do in the survey queue is to activate the surveys that you want to show up in the queue. I want all of my surveys to be available. Then we have to specify under what conditions the survey is going to be available. The simplest way is to say that a survey becomes available when the participant has completed a previous survey. So for instance, the Nacho Craving Index Survey will be available once the consent is complete, and the Nacho Accompaniment Survey will be available once the Nacho Craving Index Survey is complete. They have to complete the previous survey to be able to take the next one. It will not let you save if you have a survey activated in the project with no logic whatsoever. If you want your first survey to show up in the queue, you'll need to add some kind of logic to it. This could be based off of some information you've already filled in on the existing record before you send out surveys. However, you can also say that it shows up in the queue after it's been completed. You will have to have a different way to send out the initial survey, such as using the participant list or the public survey link, but once they have filled it out, it will show up in the list of surveys on the queue. Then we choose what surveys we want to auto start in the queue when they're available. I'm going to choose to auto start the Nacho Craving Index survey so you can see what that looks like, and to leave the Nacho Accompaniment survey unchecked so we can see what it looks like when we move through the queue manually. Because the first form of our project is a survey, an easy way for us to test the survey queue will be to use the public survey link. and submit the file. Once we've done that, because we had the Nacho Craving Index survey set to auto start, it takes us directly to that survey. If I want to go to the survey queue, there's a link to it in the upper right hand corner. Here I can see the survey is currently available to me. Because I have not completed the Nacho Craving Index survey yet, the Nacho Accompaniment survey is not available. Now, submitting the Nacho Craving Index survey, it takes me to the survey queue because I did not tell it to auto start the Nacho Accompaniment survey. I can begin that survey by clicking on the Begin Survey button. Because the survey is repeating, I can take it multiple times, and it will all be stored in REDCap and be visible to me in the queue. When you submit for the last survey available to you in the queue, it takes you to the queue page. You'll be able to see the termination text that you may have specified in the survey settings at the top of the queue. I can also get a link to the survey queue so that I can return easily. If you have a repeating form that you're using as a survey, you'll be able to take it again by clicking the Take the Survey Again button. The options you use when you set up a survey virtually all work with the survey queue. The only exception that you have to be aware of is this optional auto continue to the next survey. This option can create some issues with the survey queue. The survey queue would move to the next survey where the logic for if it should be available is complete. Auto to continue to the next survey wants to move you to the next survey in the list regardless of any logic you may have specified. The two features can conflict with each other, and when that happens, the auto continue scene here is the one that takes priority. So if you're using the survey queue to move your participants through the surveys, 
you're going to want to make sure that the Auto Continue to Next Survey in the Survey Termination Options is unchecked. However, the eConsent framework that many people are now using to consent their participants electronically is completely compatible with this survey queue. If I have the eConsent framework turned on, it will simply take me to the eConsent page so that I can verify the responses and certify that all is correct before it continues in the queue to the next specified survey. The survey queue also allows for, for more complex logic on whether or not a survey should be available. For example, I have a question in my survey asking for consent. If they choose yes, they consent, I want them to be taken to the Nacho Craving Index Survey. Because the Nacho Accompaniment Survey is only available once they've completed the Nacho Craving Index Survey, I don't have to worry about my participants accessing that without consenting to the process. However, I do need a place for my non-consenting participants to go. So I'm going to create another survey to send them to. I add that to my survey queue and say it's available when consent has been completed and when the consent variable equals no. I'm going to have that auto start as well. I can test on record to see if this is going to be true. It will display in the queue or false. It will be hidden. So if I take the public survey now, and answer affirmatively, as expected, it's going to take me to the Nacho Craving Index Survey. If I take it and answer negatively, it will take me to my DNQ survey. And if I look at the survey queue here, I can see that I don't have access to either the Nacho Craving Index survey or the Nacho Accompaniment survey. I can use any kind of logic I want to to specify how to move through the surveys in the project. For example, I could have surveys that are only available if gender equals female, or I could have surveys that are only available to participants in a specific age range. I can even make it so that surveys are only available if a date difference between, for example, an appointment date and today is between a certain value. So maybe I only want the survey to be available within a week after the appointment date. All of these are things that I can do in the survey queue to control what surveys my participants have access to and when they have access to them. One other thing you should be aware of with the survey queue is the smart variable that's associated with it. You can find information about the smart variables with, these, with this green button in various places around REDCap where it's applicable, or in the University of Colorado REDCap Smart Variables video. The relevant smart variables for the survey queue are the survey queue URL and the survey queue link. With the survey queue URL, it will provide the URL to the survey queue for the record that you are working with no matter which record you are working with. It will identify the record and find that specific URL and provide it for you. The survey queue link provides the same information but in link form, and it allows you to customize the text so you can show how it displays. Places where this can be useful are, for example, if you want to send a confirmation email after they complete the survey.
I can turn on the confirmation email here. And tell them When they complete the survey, they will receive an email with this message where it says survey Q link colon here in the square brackets. REDCap will replace that with an actual link to the survey queue for that specific person. That gives them an easy way to access their survey queue after they've completed the survey. The survey queue is one of the most flexible ways to ensure that all your participants receive the surveys you need them to see and in the correct order. It allows for very versatile control of your participant's survey experience, and it can greatly improve the use of REDCap for both you and your survey participants.